Hello everyone, welcome to Outreach's Plays Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. This is the series that I promised you at the end of one of the darkest... No, Dead Cells videos. Um, I keep bashing this microphone. I apologise for bashing this microphone so many times, but this is a keyboard-driven game and this microphone is right above my keyboard in order for me to actually be able to speak so that you can hear me. Um, but we're going to just do a new game. I've already tried a new game and I realised that everything was horrible and the sound was too loud, so hopefully sound is quieter this time. I'm just going to hit play now. I'm going to keep doing this until we get a run that we can survive. And then half an hour later we will have an episode and then we're just going to keep the ball rolling uh, as much as we possibly can. So hope you are ready for this. We are in a basement underground. So this is how to play quickly. You just press play now and you see what you get. We have someone with low strength and perception, which is dangerous because we could walk into any amount of traps. Uh, or even, I don't know if it like affects yeah, detecting traps and other things of interest. But you're going to be able to see zombies and, and creatures like that, I think. Um, intelligence is good, because you can read books really easily, which is the main mechanic for learning stuff in this game. Uh, and dexterity for melee combat. Now, we have electronics and first aid at four, which is outrageous. Both of those are going to be really good, because it means we're going to be able to craft things for survival purposes out of electrical parts that we find hither and thither, like that television that I believe is right next to us. Um, First aid means that we can craft first aid kits and things like that, but also use them more effectively. In fact, let's um, tab around and I'll show you. Skills. Electronics. Your skill in dealing with electrical systems used in the craft and repair of objects with electrical components. This skill is an important part of installing and managing bionic implants, which is a thing if we manage to get that far. and we Because we have the first aid skill, which means we might actually be able to do this. If we find working bionics, we could probably install them in ourselves with a reasonable amount of um, efficiency. Your skill in affecting emergency medical treatment. Good use of affecting as a verb, but with an E. Higher levels allow better use of medicines and items like bandages and first aid kits. Reduce the failure and complication rates of medical procedures, including bionics. Throwing. Throwing. Computers, pretty good as well. Uh, this might help us hack things, but that's basically it, I think. And then everything else is low. Dodging 4.5 I don't know what that means. That's new. <clears throat> and we also have a, a couple of traits. We have an autodoc to be trained in the proper operation of the autodoc, an advanced machine used for surgical procedures. Operations involving it will be moderately more likely to succeed. And forgetful, you have a hard time. Your skills will erode slightly faster than usual, and can you remember less terrain? Now, I don't remember if I've set up my um, options correctly, because normally I would set up circular distances and skill rust would be off or at least limited and skill rust is when you <coughs> excuse me uh, skill rust is if you don't do it for a while it, it drops okay but if you have it limited it won't drop below the level that you're at whereas if you don't limit it you can actually lose a level in a skill um so that's what that's going to do and i've got a bionic which says bionic power which means if i press p I have no bionics installed, so that's just it. Um, let's see what we have on us. We have a bandage and a first aid kit. We have an anaesthetic kit. We're a doctor. Is that what it says? We are called Leonid Vasilev. We are male and we are an augmentation associate, which is basically a doctor. Where are we? Don't know. So we're in a basement underground. That is a rock floor with a television on it. I was correct. So we're going to have to move really quietly. We don't want to accidentally wake up anything that could be around us right now. I'm just going to check my uh, settings because I think I would have set it previously but I don't know whether it kept it when it upgraded. So let's have a look at, I've changed the key binding. Let's look at interface. Celsius, blah blah blah. False, yes, no, false. Uh, this yes, no thing by the way is you have to use a capital Y or N to answer a prompt. That's because Y and N when you don't have a numerical keypad, the keypad are used for moving, and if you are holding down the Y or N key and then it asks if you want to do something, you understand. So, query under. Uh, just checking. Tile set. Skill rust off. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, in general, autopilot is a thing. These are fine. 
quantity of circular distances is true. So we have basically the settings that I would like. So I'm going to set this up where I have my inventory over here. I have it sorted by category and I have all things around here. Uh, I didn't mean to put things out. Sort that by category. Two. Let's take some fried seeds. This may be a successful run. I'm not going to call it. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to say, calling it now, we're going to win. First of all, you never win. Second of all, I don't want to be over there because there's footsteps. On the, so that symbol, the footstep symbol, that meant that I heard something in that general area. Um, we're underground in somebody's house. What is that? It's an ergometer. It looks like some sort of uh, machine, uh, like an exercise machine. So this is an underground gym. We have a towel. A hoopy fruit always knows where his towel is, so we should take that. But yeah, there's an exercise. There's things down here. I wonder if we can use these to sort of level up our strength. That would be good. Wouldn't it? So there's the stairs that get down here. In. Um, I don't know if I want these yet. Oh, did I turn off dirty clothing? Because that's a pesky thing. So I'm not going to go in there because there's, there's a Mego in there. Uh, let's not go in there until we are confident at fighting Migos. And then have a quick look around us. We don't see any monsters around us. Great. Where are we? Map. Good gracious. <laughs> this is a huge town. I've never seen such a big town. This must be a change, because honestly, I don't think I ever have seen such a big town. This is a cave. No, a desolate barn. That might be a good place to hang out if it's intact. I don't know what they mean by desolate in this situation. Uh, there's a house, there's a duplex, which means we're looking at Z levels and stuff. A grocery store, and there's some swamp. Swamp sounds bad. However, we're in a house, so let's close these curtains. We're going to be very careful. Hopefully that Mego does not get out. I've seen a zombie child. It's far away and it's not seen us, so I'm going to ignore it. Basically, I'm going around closing all the curtains because if I don't, things will see us, possibly smell us, and I'm already in a house with Amigo in the basement. And Amigo is probably one of the most dangerous enemies in this game. It is a, an enemy from the... Sorry, I just want to see what this is. It's a mailbox. Um, uh, Migo is a creature from Safe and Ready. Blimey. Uh, what's his name? With the Cthulhu in that. You know. Lovecraft. Migo is a Lovecraftian monster. It is almost like insect like. And it mimics human speech and tempts people towards it in this way. So when you hear something talking, don't go there. That is probably Amigo and you will die. Okay, <laughs> just leave it alone. We are going to stay well clear of such things. That's in the basement, but it's behind a door and probably doesn't know about us. I'm going to hope that it doesn't know about us. Frozen water. This is interesting. So there's a new mechanic since the last time I played wherein things, uh, like food and that will perish faster, I believe, but it will take into account the environment when deciding how fast it should perish. I can't close the table, but I'm examining the table. Um, which is a thing. So everything here is frozen, which means I'm wondering, we, we obviously need to somehow light a fire. We can't get the water out of the toilet, I expect. Right? All of this is frozen, which is great, because it means that it's not going to perish. So if we, we don't have to take all this with us because it's the middle of winter. All this stuff is frozen. However, A, summer will arrive and these things will stop freezing. So we really, really need to get some way of preserving it all. ASAP. And secondly, can we even consume it when it's frozen, when it's a drink? There's not much in here. This is upsetting. That is a coat rack. So, the other thing I want to know is, uh, is this likely to work? It is a flatbed truck, which is nice. I like a good flatbed truck. It's a bit battered. That has stuff in it. That, that plus there means that there's stuff in that tile. The wheels look a bit broken. No, that wheel's wrecked. See that? 
So I'm looking on the right hand side where it says with the big pane and it says 24 inch wide wheel steerable. The color of that, i.e. gray, means that it's completely wrecked. So we're not going to be able to drive this, which is a shame. Um, the battery seems fine and the engine is fine. So we could, with enough mechanical skill, either butcher this or fix it. The trouble is we don't have any weaponry. So we need to see what sort of weaponry we can make early on. So not very much to make a makeshift knife. We can make a knife spear already. That's really nice to know. So we need a broom or a stick, a spike, something to make it with. So uh, like cloth and a string. Um, we can make a spike with a hammering tool. That's right. So we need to somehow create scrap metal and a hammering tool. And we didn't find any of those things in the immediate vicinity, which is kind of pesky. And we can't stay here forever because things are going to start going horribly wrong for us because things are going to find us. There's a survivor's note. Let's have a look at it. Uh, nope, I meant to press E. School bus with solar panels equals trust. Gave us berries and seeds. We were out of food. I wonder if that is true of the uh, situation. What's this canvas bag? Looks fine store dried herbs in. Not interested. Not currently interested if it's all the same to you. Canning pot. A very large 25 litre pot, primarily meant for canning food in glass jars via the water bath method, though it can cook normal foods just as well. So we have a really good cooking spot already. And one thing that is really good to know is that you can set a fire Ooh, I spat a little, I apologise you can set a fire in an oven safely it may attract things, I'm not sure <clears throat> but it's not going to spread and that's the important part so what we want to do is somehow be able to board this up so that things don't get us through it board <clears throat> board up door, window oh I don't know if we can board it up because it's a glass we still need the hammering tool I don't know how we're going to make a hammering tool. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can have a look in our menu here. And if we search, oh, this is a lot better. How am I going to get the cursor? I can just point. So we've got all of these. <clears throat> this is a much uh, longer, a much broader range of options than we used to have in previous versions of this game. So if we want to look for a quality of hammering, oh, it's a hammer. Uh, we can make a stone hammer. <clears throat> but we need string. Sharpened rebar has level one hammering quality. Stone hammer has level two. Basically, we need a lot of stuff. What's our survival skill? Zero. They must have rebalanced this because a lot of these things are simply not makeable. So let's look for a hammer. We want to be able to make a hammer of some description, but how? We need a lump of steel, we need string, we need a stick. We could probably... Well, you need a tool with hammering to make it. I think an actual stone, by the way, will make a sufficient hammer to begin with. Do you see any enemies? Just groundhog. We might want to jump out here. Can you see us? No. Where is the dog? Down there. If they don't see us, we can probably nip over here. <clears throat> Grab this stone. So these are all to the north and west of us, you see. So if we're going south, I'm just going to run. It may make some noise, but it means we get it done quickly. Pick up the rock. That should be enough. Let's see what we end up with. Zombie? Oh god, no. Run. Close this door. Apologize for that thumping sound. I hope it's not too loud. That is what happens when you run. <laughs> uh, wait for a little while. Yes, yeah, stop waiting. Um, we may need to evacuate real quick. Let's see where we can go. <clears throat> Nowhere. 
<laughs> There's a grocery store which we're really going to want to get to very soon. Those Zeds, I think, are zombie hordes, by the way. We want to get to here very soon because it's going to have food in it. And I, I know there's a bit of food here, but still. Oh, gosh. Hide. <laughs> so, something's broken some glass. And it's probably in the house, and we may not live to see the end of the day. Um, <clears throat> But at the very least, we can make a few hammer. We have a tool with, well, we need a rock to make a stone hammer. <laughs> or some steel. There are ways around this. Let's see what we've got in our inventory. Not a whole lot. Surely we can use our towel for something interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press enter on that. There we go. Dry yourself. See, that has gone and made a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, meaning that all my references to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which have been subtle and impressive, just seem trite now, right? So let's jump out this window <laughs> and leg it. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just turn safe mode off for now. So it looks like there's a new mechanic where if you've seen somewhere, it, you remember it. Which is nice because it means that you have some idea of where you're going. You don't have to keep trying to look around. Oh. I don't have any weapons. This is the trouble. And if I run into the forest, I'm just as likely to meet something horrible in there as I am anywhere else. We could try getting to this desolate barn. I think I'm still faster than the zombies. The wind is making your head feel. Yeah, I'm not really dressed for this, unfortunately. So let's start running. Maybe that'll warm us up. Uh, I'm getting the shelter of the tree. I don't know if trees have shelter, um, but I'm still going to go for it. What have we got? It's a zombie, but it's not got an exclamation mark, which means. I don't know if it means it can't see us, but. Chamomile? That is a chamomile. Pick it. Eat it. Vampire of straw. So I'm going to start doing this. Uh, yeah. Where is zombie? Zombie is here. Let us run. <laughs> Be gone. Change my mind. Take it back. Erase and rewind. What is this? Tree stump. Okay. So there's a whole new bunch of um, tan bark. A whole new bunch of things. So these symbols that we're looking at are just the character that would be used to represent that thing. Ooh. That's helpful. That's very helpful. If we were to um, play this game in text mode, in ASCII mode, but we're not going to do that because we have a graphics card. So I'm making my way towards this barn very slowly and cautiously. I think safe mode is back on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> safe mode stops you running and just hitting an enemy, but um, why is everything long grass? Stop making this noise. Uh, it stops you running into an enemy that you as a player didn't see when you as a character did, basically. What is that? Pine bow. So, we're slow, excuse me, in all this grass, which makes sense, but it's a new thing. I'm just uh, making my way towards hopefully a barn that will give us some shelter and some time to think about what we've done. <laughs> How have we been the one to survive this? Horrible cataclysm apocalypse thingy, and I'm hoping that there's no baddies at the barn waiting for us, or indeed between us and the barn. We are nearly there. We can just walk over a tree stump, I suppose that makes some sense. Um, sure, save all the damn time. See if I can. So, this is this will be it. It's just uh, be careful. You can peek around the corner with capital X. What is this? Is it a bush? Lava? Excuse me? Well, this is warm here. What's this? Chunk of sulphur. Can I take it? Well, no, I don't have the space for it. I'm not a fan of being here. Ow. It's, it's very hot. 
I'm in moderate pain because it's really, really hot next to the lava, I assume. Um, so the, it's, oh, it's wrecked. That's the problem. I do have a roof though. So it's gone quiet, that's nice. And there might be enough stuff around here to start making things. So that's a good start. Let's look for our quality of hammering. So we're going to make this. We need another rock. We've got a 2x4 near us, which is really nice. So we need some strings, which I, I didn't really consider how to make when I was here, before, when I sort of left in a hurry. Let's pick the willow tree, willow bark. Hmm. I would like some plant fibers. I think uh, before too long we should be not in so much pain anymore. It'll stop hurting. Yes, please. Splinters would nail two by four. Didn't find anything. Oh, I just need some plant fiber, which it should be easy. The other thing here is that as we do this, we are leveling up our. Hello, survival. Hello, there. So it's at seventy-one percent already. We're nearly at level one, so that's good. Um, and when we're at level one, we get more of a chance of finding things here. Newspaper page. Not too interested in that right now. There's nothing here which is nice. A glass jar that could be useful at some point. Right, so our survival score has increased to one. But we still need. Can I make fiber? Yes, but I need. <laughs> I need stuff I don't have. I bet they grow near a swamp just to annoy me. What is this? If only I had a shovel. Yes. If only indeed. Open it. Keep it open. Yes, that's water. I don't... Just find some plant fiber, will you? That's all we need. Plant fiber. We do have some food with us, right? We can always eat some chips, which are crisps, or something like that. Why is it so hard to find plant fiber? But what are these things that you're saying? Oh, that's a, a tilled piece of ground, so we eventually we can become a farmer something like that. The fact is we've survived where we were, but now we just need to survive somewhere else, which is harder. Um, now we're out in the wilderness without really suitable clothing. Look how cold, we're chilly, so that's not terrible, but not great. Um, I mean, we are continuing to increase survival, but very, very slowly now. I really just need something I can use to craft this stuff. An alternative is that, like we set fire to <laughs> the whole. Um, I found a heavy stick. That's quite nice, except not that useful right now. Can I sharpen it? Sharp. Sharpened rebar. We don't have any rebar, do we? We might do. Some like there might be rebar over in the little pile of scrap metal that's over there. What's this? Oh, that was a chipmunk, I think. Something similar. Why? Can we talk about how there's a sort of a stream of lava outside our new base, which is itself bloody freezing? Because I don't really. I don't know if that's a defense or wild vegetables. I don't know, man. We need we need string. We should have pulled down curtains before we left. So this is why it's nice starting in a um, in a survival shelter because at the very least it has curtains. It's lots of wild vegetables, which is great and all, but how hard is it to find plant fibers in all this plant wood nail two by four? Hmm. Scrap metal, loads of scrap metal, which is great. Except I've got plenty. You're saving a lot. <laughs> Why are you saving so much? Stop it. So where does it get warm? Very rising here. Okay. I'm in minimal pain now. I could probably eat my food. That didn't help. Okay, let's have some... I that made me hungry. What? 
Iced tea. Oh, it's long. Island. Right, so it's alcoholics. Now I'm more thirsty and more hungry. Well, at least I'm happy. I don't need that. So we are. If we stay here, we we warm up, which is great. But now we're dying of thirst. Okay, not literally, but you get the idea. Um, sort of expecting there to be fire at some point. Can I please just have some hickory root. Does that help? Uh, plant. I think I need cattail or yeah, dog's bane. So I'm wondering now if maybe we want to go to the swamp. Well, have we seen anything further? No. What's this? A G. Public garden. House. I mean, we could sort of... Alright, here's what we're going to do. We haven't found anything of use. So... Did we? Nails and splitters. No. We didn't find anything that we can use to make a weapon. And as soon as we can make a weapon, we can start clearing places out and, and making a base. But we haven't done that yet. Also, this uh, moving on to long, slow grass stuff is really annoying sound. But oh, we need another rock. Spotted chipmunk. A scary chipmunk. That's okay. I'm not going to run anymore. We are moving slowly now, but at least we will keep our stamina up. We should be able to find some water before too long, I hope. So that's... Okay, up near the... You can uh, use X to just sort of move this cursor around. This will help you find things in the world around you. And also you can uh, zoom out and in. But we'll keep at this zoom level for now. I just want to find... A, what's this? Small wooded trail. So that's what that one was. And the public garden is similar but different. I just want a curtain. So let's see if we can get into a house. Zombie soldier? No. No thank you zombie soldier. Not today zombie soldier. What we might have to do... Alright, enough of that. Have they seen us now? Is kite the enemies around things that they find difficult to move through. Oh my god. Just didn't even see that. Uh, that made a lot of noise, which is a problem. Now there's a pair of scissors. <laughs> cool. Uh, what are you? Oops. You are just zombie. Uh, let's just run this way. I'm in... I'm not doing well because I've just inhaled all that... Um, Boomer smoke, which is gross. And of course, now I'm trying to run west, and I'm very slow, and I'm running out of stamina, and everything is to the east. And s don't like the feral runner. We're gonna die. <laughs> we we can't make this unless we can get into a house like right now. I'm trying to get back to the house we started in, um, but that's not an option. Oh god, what's that? It's a tough zombie. Run away! Just, just don't let them get you. Jump through here. Okay, good. Damn it. It's not good enough. I can't run fast enough. I can't do it. I'm going to have to punch it. I can't. I'm going to die. This was hard. We're learning. I can't can't. Your sight returns. Cycle. No. Ignore. 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 I can't move. I can't move. This is it. We're done. No. That person had promise. That was half an hour of fail. Okay, look. Next time we run, we take string. Remember the string. It's like gazpacho soup. So who's going to know that I said that? And then we're going to... Someone's going to come along and find my grave. And I'm going to go... Well, no one's going to know that I said that. It's not like I've scratched it in the ground. Remember the string. There are ways of winning these things. And that was not it.
There's so many new mechanics as well. I didn't expect that much long grass. So that's something to think about. And we have no stamina. We couldn't run very far at all. Probably because of all the long grass now I think about it. Well, thank you for watching. We're going to try another run in the next episode. But that was exactly half an hour. Or at least it was 10 seconds ago. So we're going to do another half an hour in the next episode. And we're going to keep trying until we get a random start that works for us. But again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. And don't forget to check out the Dead Cells episodes I'm also waffling on about or in over there. So until then, thanks for watching and good day.